Yo, what up everybody, it's Peace. Welcome to another video. So for today, I'm going to be starting a plant. So this is a uh, tiny terranium and it comes from uh, the brand Unique Gardener and it's the world's smallest terranium. So let me uh, give you a close up. So essentially it's a very tiny uh, ball that you're going to be growing a miniature cactus in. So um, I'm gonna read uh, read it for you guys. So this is specifically the pin cushion cactus. It lasts for two years and they claim it's easy to grow. Let's see if we can mess that up. Um, so some fun facts about it. This is native to southwestern United States and northern Mexico. The phrase pin cushion cactus is a reference to the white spines all over the entire surface of the plant. There are over 200 varieties of this species. All right, so they have a guaranteed to grow sticker on this. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, glass terranium um, is included. Germination disc is included. And pin cushion cactus seeds, uh, five milligrams. Uh, the, uh, the, the Latin name for this is Mammillaria pacifica. Pretty cool. They even have a website. Um, www.uniquegardener.com. Assembled in the USA. All right, so for the instructions, planting instructions, place a disc in terranium and add one teaspoon of water. Push seeds into surface of soil. Completely cover the hole with a piece of tape. Remove a week after seeds sprout. Place in an area with bright indirect light. Once plants have grown, an easy way to water is to dip the container into a cup of water and allow it to fill through the hole. All right, let's open this tiny thing up. Okay. So I see... Uh, uh okay. They just... Oh, they let it loose in there. That is a shame. Let's try and find our disc. <laughs> Here is our disc. This is a tiny uh, piece of soil. Um, Where are the seeds? Okay, the seeds are in this bag. All right, I thought... Some seeds had fallen out, but they're in this uh, bag right here. Let's see if you can see the seeds. Yeah, they're the little black things. So that's what we're going to be trying to press into the disc. And let's take a look at our little terranium. This is the cutest little tiny glass ball. So there it is. There's the uh, hole where we're going to be working on it. And it does have a flat bottom, so it can... Uh, Stay like that. All right, so let's go over those instructions. Place disc in terranium and add one teaspoon of water. All right, so we're going to place the disc in there, okay, just like that. And then we're going to take a teaspoon of water. Mm, gotta get a little bit more. All right. Teaspoon of water. Now that's a really tiny hole. I don't know how I'm going to get all of this in here. Maybe I should have done two half tablespoons or teaspoons. Huh. Okay, I got it all in there. And that's a lot of water. Um, I don't know if you can see what's happening, but it's just... Where's a good spot? All right, right there. Uh, it's, it's just exploding. That's really interesting. So I guess it's... Uh, you know, just absorbing all the water and expanding. So, we also have our tape uh, for covering the hole when we get to that point. Now, let's go ahead and um, push seeds into surface of soil. What? How am I going to push the seeds into the surface of the soil? That's not soil yet. That's a bunch of water. <laughs> and some some stuff let's uh, shake it around a little bit make sure it's all absorbed in there I'm going to need a toothpick or something to, to kind of clean up the sides a little bit because uh, I think a teaspoon of water was too much because this is liquid you can see from here that I'm able to just shake it and it, it just goes along with it. But that was definitely a teaspoon. Am I crazy? 
Yeah, one teaspoon. All right, well, soil kind of needs to be dry enough to push in some seeds. And I don't even know if I have a toothpick. But we're going to continue anyway. Uh, the thing about plants is that they're resilient and uh, we should be good to go. It's kind of hard to mess stuff up. They said it's guaranteed, so we'll see. All right, we successfully opened the bag of seeds. Looks like there's about six seeds in there. So am I gonna have six tiny cactuses or cacti? That looks like one cactus plant. So I don't know uh, what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Now, the hard part is going to be centering the seeds. Okay, got my clump of seeds right there. Now I'm trying to think, do I have a toothpick? I'm gonna check for a toothpick. Let's see. Of course we don't have a toothpick, but we do have a twist tie. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the seeds are centered. I'm gonna try and get them all in there in one go. Okay, we're starting to travel. Okay, first one's in. Okay, the other ones are in. All right, good thing I grabbed a toothpick because the seeds are floating and I do need to inject them into the center per the instructions. Okay, all right, one's down. Second one is down. All right, so let's get, where's the... Well, they said 100% guarantee, so hopefully with those two, we should be good. Now we're going to seal it up, and um, it said uh, once it's sprouted for a week, then you remove the tape, and let me read that again. Completely cover hole with a piece of tape. Remove a week after seeds sprout, period. Interesting. Removing the tape after a, uh, a week after the seeds sprout. I'm just going to cover the hole. I don't want to have any uh, nasty gunk on uh, the actual terrarium. So we're going to seal that up. And then um, place in an area with bright indirect light. Now that step is after the step with the tape. Am I supposed to put it in bright light immediately for it to sprout? Or does that happen after I remove the tape? Please let me know in the comment section if you've gotten this far and your interpretation of that instruction. Um, okay, so now I've got that done. Uh, we'll check on this in a week, I guess, um, to see if the seed sprouted, and then after another week, we can uh, check on it again when I remove the tape. Um, in an indirect light area. I have the perfect place for this. I'll be putting it in my room by my windowsill with all my other plants. Uh, so you guys get a little tour of my other plants uh, when that next video comes out. But yeah, that's really cool. And you know what? I've lately been on kind of a plant kick. I want to start planting other things. I do have some uh, organic parsley growing uh, in my room right now, and it's just shooting up. It's crazy how well it's growing. So um, it's kind of gotten me wanting to plant some more things and uh, be able to utilize um, my ability to just water them every day and then get free food, essentially. Um, and I've always enjoyed uh, plants and whatnot. Um, also, next time, I will be uh, doing a fly trap um, for uh, for next video. Um, yeah, so it's a similar thing, except this is a little bit bigger. So I'll be doing that for you guys as well. So look out for that video. So um, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.